water element, uh, their dominant emotion is fear. They're, they're quiet, they shy away from attention, they usually fly under the radar. But on the other hand, when they have the willpower, they will get anything they want. Water will do it slowly, gradually, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take, they'll do it in their own way. They tend to take the shape of their container, so they do adapt easily to situations and to people. They have a creative imagination and they're usually pretty calm. On the weakness side, fears sometimes hold them back. Uh, they can be pushovers because they, they take the shape of the container, so sometimes if it's too much, they do what others want them to do. Shyness can be a weakness sometimes, and they tend to daydream. For them, uncertainty is a huge, huge deal. So what you can do with them is keep a fear journal. What are you afraid of? Let's see, let's think of ideas together. They're creative, right? So let's think what can help us, like find solutions together. Just talk about it, talk about it. And then it's not so uncertain. Something, uh, a word, a phrase, something that reminds them not to be afraid. For them, yoga, mindfulness, or even acupressure buttons that they can press when they're afraid, for them, it's, it's a big deal. It's, again, it's not the uncertainty. I have something that can help me calm down. And for them, I would also set timers for things because they can daydream. So if they know that they have an assignment and they can use a timer to, to help them focus, that will also help them be a little calmer.